Now with your Storm Team weather, here's Chris Ramirez. All right, welcome back. Well, Chris, today wasn't the prettiest of days. Right, you know, it's very gloomy, but we can expect to have another gloomy day for tomorrow. Oh, That's exactly, we've been seeing these rain showers that have been keep coming through the Contra Valley for the last, you know, several hours, but we can expect to see some as we get into tomorrow morning. So the headline is that we're going to have another gloomy day. We're going to be warming up. That's the good news. We're going to have much warmer temperatures than we did have today. We got up into the 50s today, so we can expect high temps in the 60s and 70s, and then, of course, a few more fronts. And these cold fronts are not going to be strong as we head into into uh, this week here, but we started off the week with foggy skies uh, here in San Angelo. We progressed throughout the day, mostly cloudy, not really seeing any sunshine, and we did see some occasional passing showers here and there, but then we did see more showers as we got into these evening hours here in San Angelo, and most of the Concha Valley were experiencing these light rain showers as we got into the, uh, the overnight hours. But right now, we're currently sitting at 49 degrees. It feels like 47. Humidity is 90%. Winds out of the west at 6 miles an hour, and here's a current look of the rain are seeing all these showers uh, for the most part around San Angelo not really seeing through anything through San Angelo but we're seeing some much heavier rain up into our northeastern portions of the Concho Valley and we can expect to see more of this rain uh, continue as we go throughout tonight into tomorrow morning uh, but right now we have a little bit of break of us here in San Angelo in the middle portions of the Concho Valley as we go throughout tonight but our future cast is going to be showing um, some more heavier showers as we get closer to the midnight hour temps in the upper 40s winds are going to be calm and so we can expect these uh, hit or miss showers as we go into the next couple of days. Temps getting up into the 50s, not really getting too much colder as we get into tomorrow night, but then those isolated showers are going to be in the forecast as we go into tomorrow. But that's, those skies will be clearing as we, as we head into Monday afternoon with highs in the 50s and 60s. So we can expect to see this warming trend as we go throughout tonight. But we're seeing some uh, increasing wind speeds up into our southeastern portions of the Concho Valley. Six miles an hour in here in San Angelo, six miles an hour in Sterling City, and coming out of the, uh, the south at eight miles an hour in Mertzen. So our current temperatures across the board here, seeing temps in the upper 40s, 49 in Mertzen, 47 in Starling City, sitting at 48 in El Dorado. So we're not really going to expect to get too much colder as we head into the overnight hours, but uh, we're expecting our high temperatures to have like this roller coaster effect. We're going to have to get up to 70 degrees tomorrow. We do have a light cold front that's going to be in the forecast as we head into Monday, but then we're going to get down into the 60s and then we'll be warming right back up into the upper 60s as we head into the next couple of days. But here's a current look across the nation dealing with these showers all across West Texas, stretching to North Texas. And this is due to a series of disturbances. We do have a low pressure system that's causing some more rain off to our east. Um, but our next system, our next front is off to our west. This is the next cold front that's going to be coming through uh, the Concho Valley. So it's going to be a, a, a weak one, not really too much strong, uh, not strong. Our temps are not going to get too much lower. High temps will still be in the 70s, but this is going to affect our high temperatures as we head into Tuesday. And, and Wednesday possibly, but Tuesday, expect that cold front to clear out the skies, mostly sunny temps in the low 60s, a little bit pleasant than, we've, than what we've been seeing for the past couple of days. But then as we head into Wednesday, definitely she's going to see that returning cloud cover with mostly cloudy skies, highs in the 60s, and it will continue to start warming up as we head into the next uh, couple of days there. But for Valentine's Day, expect to have a high of 80 degrees, mostly cloudy, with warm conditions for Valentine's Day, and then we'll have a cold front after that. It's going to get our temperatures back down into the 60s, but tonight, getting down the 48. Lingering showers are going to be possible. 20% chance of showers. Winds out of the south at 5 to 10 miles an hour. And as we go into two Mondays, it's going to get up to 70 degrees. Isolated showers and breezy conditions are expected. Expect those wind gusts to go up to 30 miles an hour. And for the next seven days, expect those temperatures to get into the 60s. Mostly sunny skies warming up into the upper 60s for Tuesday and Wednesday. But that cloud cover will return on Wednesday and Thursday. But we'll be continuing to warm up on Thursday when we get up to near 80 degrees with our next cold front coming through, getting us back down into the 60s and then gradually warming up for the next weekend with a 20% chance of slight showers on Sunday. We'll be right back.